to attempt something that is... Okay, how do I put this? Okay, it's just insanely dangerous. If this goes wrong... You know what, let's not even go there. Uh, you know, here is Damien Aditya. I grew up with a normal family. My dad works with shipping, and my mom is a housewife, and they want me to become like a lawyer or accountant, uh, something normal. <laughs> but for me, ever since I was a kid, I was in love with living. I always knew that I want a life of living on the edge. The closer I come to death, the more I feel alive. Nobody in the world have tried to attempt the things that I'm going to do tonight. For 90 seconds, I must control my breathing, my heartbeat, my mind. My greatest enemy is fear itself. If I lose a moment of my concentration, it will be the end of my life. Hello, America! Hi, judges. Thank you so much for being here to live show. And tonight, I will attempt my most death-defying escape yet. I call it the death drop. Tyra. Tyra. Suspended high above the stage, Damien will climb to a simple roll He will then be handcuffed, and the lid will be nailed completely shut by his assistants. The only support keeping that box in the air is this book. Looped through those codes and secured here, directly above this blow And to make it even more dangerous, there will be fire. Damien must escape before the rope burns through and the box comes crashing down into three solid steel spikes, annihilating anything or anyone inside of it. Damien, are you ready? Light the blowtorch, please. He's behind us.
Is he dead or Did alive? Did something really go wrong this time? The guy is stuck in a box, over fire, and you hit an X. But what went wrong then? Shh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody. Okay, okay. La, 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 la. There was a technical problem that was not Damien's fault. I'm bringing Inglewood up into Hollywood tonight. <laughs> Things happen. It was not his fault. But Mel, what did you think? Were you scared? I mean, I didn't quite understand it because there was the big flame there and then the little flame there. And then when I did understand it, it went wrong. Yeah, it went wrong. But I understand it's not his fault and that's why, you know, we all, we all practice and rehearse, but we have. Um, I just, I, I, I don't know, I wasn't feeling the anticipation of the excitement of the magic. Oh, that's Heidi? good. Heidi? I feel bad. I feel bad for you because the first two times when we saw you escape, it really worked and it was fantastic. And I can see now we're at the live shows and you wanted to make something even bigger and better. And we don't know what went wrong, but something did go wrong. So, yeah. I, so I feel bad that you really that it yeah. didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Simon, I'm sure you've experienced things before, live, crazy stuff happening. How, how does this make you feel right well, now? Well, I'm kind of imagining this would be like Mel B's wedding night. A lot of ant... <laughs> uh... Yes! Well, no, no, no. <laughs> a lot of anticipation, not much promise or delivery. Mel B is out. <laughs> this is live TV, y'all. This is Guess live what? TV. Something just went wrong. Way wrong. You know what? It's live TV. Oh my gosh, Mel B is America's got to vote. It's live TV. Uh, Howie, what do you think? This is crazy okay, right man. now. This is live TV and it's crazy. Damien, okay, I yeah, know you are pissed. Tell America how pissed you are that your magic didn't do exactly what it was supposed to do. <laughs> Well, this is a live show, right? So, if anything, can if anything can go wrong, you see it. You know what? It's just crazy right now. It's, it's crazy. I, good luck. Good luck to you.